dearly beloved in the Lord Jesus Christ. A young boy received a Bible as a gift on his birthday from his father. After a few years, the father died. But the Bible the father gave was up there in his shelf. It was all worn out, falling apart. And some of his friends came and were looking through his books. They said to him, You ought to throw that Bible away. It's about to fall apart. And he said, No way. I will never get rid of it because my father gave that to me. Jesus in like manner says, Nothing that is given to me or that comes to me will ever be driven away. John chapter 6 verse 37 Dear friends, know this, that if you are a Christian, Christ is never going to part with you. Isaiah 54 verse 10 We read, For the mountains may fall and hills be removed, but my steadfast love shall not depart from you, and my covenant of peace shall not be removed, says the Lord who has compassion on you. Jesus will never cast away anybody who has been given to him. The reason is he came down to accomplish a purpose, to do his father's will, to gain a people for him as a reward of his soul's travail. He says, all that the father gives me shall come to me. The question for each one of us to ask is, do I belong to that number? Do I belong to that all? whom the Father gave to Christ. Here the word all stands for everyone. Black and white, any caste, any region, any language, rich and poor, everyone, all that the Father gives to Jesus shall come to Jesus. What does it mean to come to Christ? It implies leaving all other confidences, other ways of hope and trust, and trust in wealth, job, husband and wife and children. One day, wealth may cast you out. Family and children may cast you out. Your relatives may cast you out. Your neighbors will cast you out. Even sometimes your church, your parish may cast you out. But Jesus will never cast you out because he has neither hand nor foot nor heart to reject the ones who come to him because all these have been pierced in his death for us. Therefore, he cannot cast you out. If we could save ourselves, we wouldn't need a savior. And now that Christ is our savior, allow him to work in and through us. Lay your burdens at his feet. Trust in him. Tie up all your hopes into one bundle and put that bundle upon Christ. Let him be your salvation, your only trust, your only hope. For he will never leave us nor forsake us. Christ is the only way of salvation. Believe in him and you will have eternal life and he will raise you up on the last day.